Hey butterflies. Are you a butterfly? I just now got the most amazing epiphany. I'm out here, I'm out here doing me. You know, sitting over there, you know, and then well, sitting over there, clarity, sitting here, doing my exercising on my throne. And realize I had a, a, a cottonwood moment, a cottonwood moment, cottonwood, Alabama. My husband and I used to go to this retreat at Cottonwood, Alabama, where we had like the spring water. And I mean, people would come from all around celebrities back in the day, back in the day. I mean, people like Bill Cosby, Oprah, everybody, all the black celebrities knew about it. It was one of those quite like hush hush things. That's where we actually met George, Georgie of, uh, of, uh, uh, no woman, no cry. That Georgie, yeah, that 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 Georgie. I wonder what happened to Georgie. Not that I'm asking what happened to Georgie, because Georgie was problematic. You know how some rich people don't know what to do with themselves and just become grifters and just it, it just. But he was a hell of a chef, though. He was a hell of a chef, and he could cook vegan food. And then you know the Bronners decided that they would rather go into hair care instead of the legacy land that they were given. See, this is what black people will do. So before you start pointing at white people, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, you know, black people who look just like me. I'm talking to you. Because I, I did it. I did it too. I kind of gave up on, uh, like with my house on Bridges Street, but that also there was some, I'm sure there was some land that was promised to me. You don't come from two sets of landowners and you're the favorite grandchild and you don't get anything. That's not how it works. But that's okay. Things are what things are. So at the end, it ends up, you know, because I'm still the star. And anyway, I'm sitting here back to the Bronner brothers. They wanted to do hair care, whereas their grandfather had gotten this land from the original owner, who was a, a black preacher. So, I mean, there's just so much legacy about Cottonwood Hot Springs. So much legacy that was just thrown away by people who wanted to be in the entertainment industry. Preachers want to be entertainers too. Think they don't, you know, between the hair care and uh, which on one hand was good for business, but on another hand, did a disservice to our black hair. So you, it, it was a good thing, but then you went about the money. It, when you sell your own hopes and dreams to the other team, it never ends up good. So bottom line, you had acres and acres and acres and acres and acres and acres of farmland at Cottonwood, and they wouldn't take care of it. The Bronners wouldn't take care of it. They wouldn't take care of it. They tried to burn it down. They try, I mean, you know, they, I think they, would, they thought that you know they can get some insurance money off of it but but they couldn't they wouldn't take care of it and everybody would go out there and have such a great time and it's like they could not see the blessings in their own hand you had uh, this, this this one guy that was a farmer who was working the land and and was and we were, everybody who got it was like why don't they see what they got and once the grandparent and the aunt died off you know well you know Atlanta they became pillars of society in Atlanta and left their legacy, a real legacy alone. And I don't know what is happening now, but the water was healing. The water was healing. That being said, my husband and I, we used to go there when I would get stressed out with all the BS that was just of the world in Atlanta and everything. We would go there and just chill until we realized that last time we got there, that's the one time that we used a Ouija board. I never do that again because we knew there were spirits there. We knew, and there were just, you just got, I'm not going through the whole story of Cottonwood. It's just a lot of stories, and you know, I connect with spirits, and there was like the chapel I never liked. I would always run past that. There was always, even though I would, you know, get out in the hot springs at night, one or two o'clock at night, and I always felt like I was being watched. But that's the funny thing about maybe it's just me being me. I always know that I'm being watched by both entities negative and and positive entities so you just have to have the courage and faith in yourself which is why i'm given the name of faith to live my life long story short i'm sitting here having a moment i'm sitting here having a moment you know having a, a, a wonderful moment just a wonderful moment and um and realizing i i will used to sit and rest and sit on the chair and just chill and get my head straight from all the BS. And that's when, you know, you had like real rosters came out. That's when I ran into my real roster family. Because, you know, real rosters are, 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 are real. I don't know. These, 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 these wannabes, they, they don't, they're not about that culture. 
And I mean, even with that, you know, because the culture and the essence is, is peace, but you all, I mean, you know, I'm sick and tired of, I'll, I'm, on, I'm not going to lie to you because I'm going, I'm getting ready to get me some pizza in a, in a moment. Yes, I know it's, you know, it's, it's that particular time and I am fasting, I'm fasting bad people out my life, but I'm not going to give up on something. I have got a lot of work to do and I've been through a lot of things and I'm not going to give up something for, uh, for many, many years. I don't apologize for it now, but I would. I perpetually was in denial that pepperoni was a pig because like what part of the pig is it but neither here nor there my point is like I'm not going to let somebody beat me up because I want a slice of pepperoni pizza and that's like my comfort food some people do crack some people do weed some people do sex some people OD on religion and don't even know what it's about you know everybody's got their own thing mine every now and then is a slice of pepperoni pizza I'm not going to be put to shame by people who don't even follow their own culture or and or know it understand what I'm saying 2023 we're making sense it is all about me because I have given all of my life legacies of activism now I'm going to be an activist for me and I've been given that uh that said keep out and you walk right on in there. You go ahead. <laughs> that might be one of the never mind. Anyway, I'm having that moment where you could run into anybody at any time because it's real legacy land. I've always been around real legacy land. And I've always been the one that appreciated it. Whereas others didn't understand and they sold it for repentance and a dream. But the dream wasn't what it seemed. And now nature is screaming that they're not a part of my team. I just freestyled that came out of nowhere but today has been amazing it's a renewing and a newing what helps you to grow either the manure you don't go back yo to people who salted you no Sarah looked back but Lot did not <laughs> Lot kept it moving I've been given too many signs and I can't even act like I'm the oracle and, 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 and pretend to be blind even though I don't feel like you know I don't necessarily feel like doing the work because this is work the next level mm. new levels new devils I'm a soldier's kid. I'm prepared. And preparing. Wow! Guess I'm going to be going into my own... Um, I'm not saying that word. I'm going to be going into my own um, sabbatical school for about a year. Or however long it takes. Anyway, that's it. Okay, what a day. Oh, my, my, my. And I'm not high, or maybe I am. I'm high on life. And it's so nice. I ain't selling nothing crazy. Just doing me. My poetry and a little bit of poetry. On Legacy Land, I guess, hashtag I am Legacy. Why you mad at me? Cause she can't copy me. Acting like you know me, but you know me not. Now you wanna cast your shot. I don't want nothing you got. And I'm sitting in the spot. It looks like this chick is hot. And yes, she is so cool. Teaching that soul school cafe. Reminding you, it's a fundraiser show going on. I'm still taking birthday funds. Uh, what is it? Dollar. Cash up. I'm not. I'm, I'm off of. I'm off of. I, I don't. I, there is. I have absolutely no WhatsApp, and we're just going to like not do cash up for a minute. 
<laughs> they do a strange things out there. So PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. I am Val Jones at gmail.com. I am Val Jones at gmail.com. By the way, to some of my former advertisers, if you're really, 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 really about business, I will be accepting commercials in 2023. If you're really about business, if you bring that bullshit to me, don't. There's certain people that cannot come back to me for a commercial, especially if you owe me money. If you make up for it first, then we can talk about it. But still, some people cannot, and they know who they are. It's like that. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Anyway, hey, a good tree, a good tree. I am so proud of me. You know, it's all this talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about. If you do this. If you don't do this, you'll die. If you don't do this, you'll die. Well, I guess I proved that that could have been a lie. It's your choice. People didn't want to be around me saying I was sick. Well, I flipped the script. Now nah, I don't want to be around you. I'll settle for being around my trees. <laughs> Ruins. Hashtag naturally dope. I might be the hope, but I ain't no joke. And that stuff that y'all be smoking on, I just don't smoke. Hey, squirrel. I told you I have my stick just in case, you know, because it's just running rabbit. You know how the squirrels, I told you squirrels sometimes, rabies, rabies, you can't cure rabies. <laughs> so, you know, it's like syphilis. It's like, you know. It spreads. So in case a, a rabbit squirrel or a rabbit comes out, I can bippity boppity boop. <laughs> Because I don't play with rabies either. <laughs> the other stuff, I'll let the planes take. I'll let the planes and the helicopters take care of that. They're, they're Johnny on the spot. Hug my tree. Oh, this tree speaks to me. It looks sturdy and strong. Because hashtag, I am a tree. I got work to do now. Uh, Soul School Cafe, by the way. Soul School Cafe. We're going to do a repeat because that shit was off the chain. Literally. Real Queen's lead. Yes, we do. I know I salute with my left hand. Don't worry about it. We know I don't do rules. Unless they make sense. place or maybe that was a spirit I don't know I mean I see spirits like real people sometimes spirits can be anyone you never know who's coming up to you I've met people who are angels who people didn't know they were angels but I did and it's funny how these people who think they know everything but they didn't know what they were and then also I have I have had to realize that there's some people I thought I knew but I clearly did not but it's okay everything's cool this is so cute it's more than cute. But I don't know. This just speaks to me. It's just the great. It's just the. That. Oh, that's sod. That's what it is. That's why it speaks to me. Are we planting sod? Where does sod come from? Out of nowhere. Sod's not out of nowhere. So sod. 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 That didn't come out of nowhere. What is that supposed to mean? Sod. S O D. Green. Some people read tea leaves, some people read cars. I read nature. Or the equivalent thereof. Okay. Well, I just, my, my, my mind went off to uh, bingo got it now this turn it over it's play okay yeah yeah the replanting replanting renewing resodding Resoiling. But sometimes I pay too much attention 
to the side that has been displaced than the side that's in place. The side that's been displaced out of nowhere. Or it will automatically take root. Because Earth knows Earth. So that's what Earth will do. It will automatically feel itself and take root. Oh, wow. Guys, I'm teaching you. Did you get the message? This is what I do. Yeah. Where you see land? Run your own backyard. I'm glad that people keep up with it because uh, we got so much stuff that's just crazy. It's just good to pay attention to some stuff that matters, some positive stuff that matters. This might not matter to you, but this matters to me. Like I said, I can relate. You know, James Timmon Rockefeller was the grandson of William Avery Rockefeller and great-grandnephew of John Davidson Rockefeller, co-founders of Standard Oil. Well, we all know everything's about oil and money and da 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 and business. But the point is, you always have at least one person who sees the vision of, you know, not just the business. Anyway, in 1924, he led his crew team, and he was the different one. <laughs> Okay, this man was the different one. Uh, he, he, he was the different one. He climbed, he was the different one. Uh, but look at what he did. In 1924, he led his crew team in some relevance in Paris, France, earning a gold medal and an appearance on the cover of Time magazine. When Mr. Rockefeller passed away in 2004 at the age of 102, he was the oldest living Olympic champion at the time. Now, everybody focus on the ones that made it money, 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 money. But you know what he did? Even with his money, he served. How about that? How about all these people who make decisions and ain't served no damn where? That's a problem. But anyway, during the history, during World War II, James was stationed at Fort Bragg as a lieutenant of the U.S. Airborne Command. Military generals and political figures visited Long Valley Farm throughout that time. After the war, he resumed his career with the First National Bank, eventually serving as the bank's president and chairman. He married Nancy Carnegie in 1925. Rich people who are about philanthropy. You have some rich people who know what to do with their money. Most people do not. Clearly. Clearly. I've been sitting and feeling quite at home because I can relate to that because like I said every black person did not raise I had I came from both my both my grandparents were landowners how about that so get out of your illusions of what people need to get out of their illusions of who they think who is who and who is that or whatever and actually talk to somebody and read or talk to people who've been there but whatever I don't care I'm doing me this year. Anyway, she was the grandniece of the famous philanthropist and leader of the steel industry, Andrew Carnegie. Again, legacy people with money who did good things. Everybody with money is not corrupt. I mean, their families might be, but, you know, this, we all have corrupt people. Your family's the first one that you try to go a different and do a different thing, do a positive thing. They'll be the first ones to turn on you, but still... Real people do what real people do. And that's why I appreciate military people because you know what? We learn how to go through and I'm saying we because you're a military brat. Everybody's in the military, <laughs> technically. But you learn to adapt. You learn to adapt and you learn new things. You don't get stuck in a rut. Everybody didn't stay on the damn plantation. Everybody didn't, you know, everybody, some people went off, but you know, you can't always come home. What was the guy? The uh, and Phil Jeffrey said you can't come home again. Sometimes that is actually true. <sighs> this part, conservation, a legacy of conservation, a real legacy of conservation. Black people, did we give up our land? Let's be real. You say you want land, but what would you do with the Some of you will turn around and sell it for a hummer. Brown and sold their legacy for a hair care and be preachers. That was stupid. They could have let somebody else buy it. I mean, that was land. They had. They paid no money. All they had to do was do the taxes. I'll never forget. I would. I. I wanted to buy it. If that's the case, my hubby and I were going to try to buy it. They don't, you didn't want to sell it, but you wanted like. I mean, how does brick and water catch fire? 
girl, stop. You headbanger, <laughs> headbanger spawn. Wow, that's interesting. Headbanger spawn. Okay. Interesting name, but okay. We're doing school today. Headbangers ball. Okay. So, all the birds are having a ball. All eight woodpecker species living in North Carolina can be seen at Carver's Creek State Park. The, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, definitely the red cock, the, the, the red, that one. I've seen that one. Or oh, one of these. I've seen that one. Definitely that one. And that one. I've seen that one the other day. I saw those at my house. So how are they at my house? That's wild. <laughs> or not. Like I said, legacy knows the legacy. Mom used to just go by the flowers. Go by the flowers, little girl. It's not like I don't have work to do. I, I have work to do. Oh, Mommy says I am working. I am, though. I am, though. I am, though. It's just good when you can come someplace and you can enjoy, man. There's not... I don't ever... I am not good when I am in fear. We've clearly seen that. We we clearly see... I go like straight airborne and, uh, and ground patrol when I get in fear. I'm like John Wick 4. Who wants it? So, uh, anyway. So, that's never good for me. Legacy. So anyway, mommy said, look at the flowers. Beautiful flowers. Ooh. Beautiful flowers. She used to grow all of these. I couldn't grow this to save my life. <laughs> so I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the kid that enjoys it, okay? I'm the kid that enjoys it. Like I said, mommy grew flowers and plants. I grew consciousness. And daddy grew that justice and that, well, that activism. <sighs> Well, people love to cut down the real trees and put up fake ones. Such is the legacy of this area and probably a lot of areas. But the real ones who see, it's your time to speak. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. See, this is two signs for me. When I see a feather... It's a good sign for me because that means my angels were out, but it's also okay. Um, and with that, we're going home and work. I hear daddy. Let the angels do their thing. Told you it feels like Pesach, man. I just, I just. Remember, it's all in my head. They sound the crazy lady, so don't listen to me. I'm just out here talking to trees and walking on legacy land. Real Rockefeller. Ooh, my goodness. How pretentious am I? Find the lie. Life for what? It does. It does look like. Well. That's enough.